have you guys have you guys seen the story of this person who worked for the White House? They were in charge of like some something in the nuclear program. It's a, a trans woman who's bald. Oh, and yeah. has a beard and a mustache. Yeah, and is apparently a kleptomaniac. Yep. It is the wildest story. Yeah. They caught her stealing a bag. I should say, is it he? Like he has a mustache. Um, stealing a isn't his name Sam? I, I don't want to misgender. Uh, I'm not sure if it's like non-binary. Whatever. But this, whatever it is, trying to be it's nice. a thief. It's a fucking thief. <laughs> it's a fucking terrible thief. Yeah. And then there was a woman who uh, recently uh, f saw photos of this Sam person. And uh, she is like, I think she's a designer. And she had very specific one-of-a-kind clothing that had gotten stolen. Oh, oh Jesus. What the hell? Yeah, it's it's playing with rules. There's That's what that person's doing. There's that person with the beard and the shaved head and uh, lipstick and everything, that, they're playing with the rules. I'll tell you, there's not enough boner pills in the world. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so this person, Sam, uh, has been stealing women's luggage, like not just one, but they've they've caught multiple times this person, Sam, on video stealing luggage, and this woman, who said uh, from 2018, see if you can find that story, the story of this woman who was a designer from 2018. Yeah, there it is. So she had these very specific pieces that were missing, and then she sees this person wearing her shit, this person who works for the fucking White House. What's he doing at the White House? And she's House? like, no sure. way. Well, she's, he, they are fired. Uh, They're fired from the White House. What did they do? Uh, something with the nuclear department. Yeah, she was, it was the, Department um, of Energy. Yeah. Yeah. Department okay. Former Energy. Department of Energy official Sam Brinton has been... Uh, had been contained in her luggage that she reported missing on March 9, 2018 at the Ronald Reagan Washington National Airport. And then you see this person. So she's a Houston-based Tanzanian fashion designer. As How do you say her name? Asya, Asya Comson. Com Comson. Asya Comson. So, so she saw her fucking clothing that's one-of-a-kind clothing that she designed. And she's seeing this person who stole it who works for the fucking White House. Two separate airports, and notice he appeared to be wearing uh, her clothes in several photos. Uh, Comson said she had packed the same clothes in a bag that vanished back in 2018. So this person's been doing this forever, just stealing girls' clothes from the airport and then trying them on when they get home. There's a thing called autogynephilia, and it's men who are turned on by dressing like women, but they're heterosexual. But they're turned on by dressing like women. They like to dress and and maybe even behave like a woman, and they get aroused by it. It's it's like Jordan Peterson talked about. It. He said it's always been a part of the psychology literature. Like it's a it's a it's a like a reoccurring thing that exists with men. That there's been men forever who like to dress up like women, and it gets them sexually aroused. And now. It's they're in the same category as people that identify with being a woman like if you're like a legitimate trans person And I know a lot of them. I know a lot of them now. It's more it's There's some that you go like if you ever meet Blair White mm -mm. You go, okay, that's a hundred percent correct. Like whatever you're doing is correct. Like she seems like a woman Wow, look see at this that. is the ladies clothes. Oh, isn't that crazy? That is so crazy Wait, uh, well, it's different, but uh, she's get he gets a there's a kink. No, because it's folded over on the right side See how it's folded over with oh, the pattern in the f yeah, it's a different pattern. is different a different pattern. pattern. Yeah, uh, in the middle. Oh, you're right. Yeah, yeah. Huh Oh, it could just be. Are you sure it's not way. folded over? It, it, see, because you see the right side of his thing. You see how it's the the black. You see the inner linings. It's like a different part. Well, they wear it better. Yeah, yeah but you see, <laughs> well, uh, the Sam person has the narrowest fucking shoulders, for what appears to be a biological male, and if you, you know, he's like got it folded over so it'll fit on his shoulders. Like I think if he spread it out, it might like fall over one shoulder. It's, that doesn't seem like the same picture. Wow, it's a uh, it's still it's very similar. Can it's you imagine? Well, it could also just be yeah. she had multiple yeah. pieces, yeah, yeah. and sh you show photos of one of her pieces is similar to the other one that he was wearing. But 
makes sense. I mean, if the person's been busted more than once stealing chicks clothes, but that's like a kink thing, man. That's not a poor person that needs clothing. That's not a person in desperation trying to feed their family. That's a kink. That person's kinky. They, they like to steal women's clothes and then put them on. Maybe they're also good at energy. Maybe. Maybe. But you can't hire them just because they like to dress like a woman. Oh, my goodness. Wow. You see what I'm saying? You can't do that. Like, that's crazy. And this is what you get when you go fishing for crazy. Can you, you can't just hire someone because they like to dress like a woman. Like, they have to actually not be crazy and not be stealing luggage and be good at their job. <laughs> good face, good face on it. Yeah, beautiful face. Yeah, unbelievably stunning. <laughs> <laughs>